those who don't know me, it's your girl Keisha, where we like to share because we do care. It's the Care Bear. All right. So today's channel or today's message is going to be about sex trafficking and how I got away part two. Okay. So the first video I did um, recently People had a lot of questions. I got a lot of feedback. I really didn't expect it to blow up the way it did. Um, I got positive inboxes and phone calls. I just recently received one negative, um, I guess like a hate message. Um, but that's okay because I'm going to continue to get my story out because there are those of you who need to hear it. So get your papers, get your pens, get your teenagers. Get your aunties, get whoever needs to hear this message on my channel. All right, so let's get started. First of all, I just want to say, just start an organization called Honorable Women. And if you want to know more about my organization and how we can help you if you're a victim of sex trafficking, molestation, um, if you're experiencing homelessness, or even if you're experiencing domestic violence, First of all, I want to say get help, but if you're not able to get help and you need to be linked to the right connections or the right help, then go to my website at honorablewomen.org. Again, my website is honorablewomen.org. And also, you can visit me on Facebook. On Facebook, it's Honorable Women Inc. So that's Honorable Women, I-N-C dot. Okay, so let's get started. So I wrote a list of questions down and people were asking me because they really, really wanted to know. So I have about 12 questions that I will be answering. I'm just gonna tell you guys, this one is not PG-13, like part one. Part two is for the people that can handle like my situation because there were a lot of missing pieces that I did not mention just because of it being children possibly watching or um i just wanted to keep that one pg-13 okay so the first question i'm not going to mention any names um how many times did you try to escape so to answer that question i just want to tell you guys that i did try to escape three times um where i was not successful the only time, well, actually I was successful the last time, but the first two times I was not successful. And as I mentioned in part one, the first time I escaped, I left him with a box of money, thousands of dollars, and he still wouldn't let me go. So I think it's important to let you all know that they don't let you go. They have no intention of letting you go. You're supposed to just be their slave until you die, pretty much. You're supposed to just make their money, and be their slave and do whatever it is that they want until the day you die. Okay, so I hope that question was answered and I hope that was helpful. Um, the second question that I was asked was, tell us more about your painful experience. Okay, I did mention a couple things that he did, which was on part one, I mentioned how he locked me in a room for weeks. Um, two, three weeks at a time and it had like four locks and he would leave me there pretty much to die. Um, but what I didn't mention is how some of those days I was not fed at all. Um, he basically treated me worse than you would treat your pet, your dog, your cat. Um, he wouldn't feed me because he felt like until you obey, until you comply to what it is I'm trying to get you to do. I'm not going to feed you anything. So I would just be in there and he would force me to watch these movies. Um, this is the part that's not PG-13, guys. So if you want to speed this video up, this is the time to do it. But he would force me to watch like pimp movies or predator movies, whatever you want to call it. And the reason why um, he would force me to watch these movies is so that I can learn the game, as he called it. So that I can learn what to do or what not to do in the world of these sex traffickers. So that I can learn how to survive and how to move and how to talk and how to act exactly like he wanted. And if I did not, then it was hell to pay. And hell was either I was getting beat, he was threatening to shove um, hangers 
and meet like all type of crazy and dramatic things was the hell to pay. And that's all I'm gonna say because this is YouTube. Um, another painful experience, like as I said in the first video, I was forced to carry a cup. This cup was a pimp cup and it had his name on it. And it was totally something that humiliated me. And I feel like he did on purpose to humiliate me and just to watch people laugh. Like people would laugh. Some people felt bad for me, but a lot of people would just laugh and I just was totally humiliated. Like I just never felt that down um, in my life. Just having to carry that cup, having to sleep on the floor like a dog um, with no clothes on. And I mentioned that in the first video as well. And mainly just the beating consistently. And also I was raped every single day while I was with him. And that was something I didn't mention in the other video as well because I wanted to keep it clean. But again, this is the raw footage on this video. So I was raped um, pretty much every single day with him. And if he, if it wasn't a rape, like if it was, you know, a good day, because another thing I want to mention for you teenage girls that think that you know what's in the world and you want to get out here in the world and see, you know, oh, it's fun. This person seems nice. No. Okay. Um, with him, his thing was, let me just, you know, I want to take control of her in every way possible. So doing a good day where...